Is this true? Huawei joining forces with Chang'an, putting the entire support system team, technology, and assets of Huawei into a joint venture company, and then attracting other companies to invest in it. Who is behind this? Who is the big player, from the information currently available? The business logic of the joint venture company is to provide a comprehensive CNC intelligent driving platform, allowing major automotive companies to directly connect to it. This means that the automotive companies no longer need to develop this part themselves and can instead focus on building their own vehicles. What are the benefits of doing this? Firstly, it is about playing to strengths and avoiding weaknesses. The advantage of Huawei in the CNC intelligent driving platform is obvious and various automotive companies no longer need to compete with Huawei, nor do they need to engage in internal competition. They can focus solely on vehicle manufacturing. Secondly, once all automotive companies adopt a unified CNC intelligent driving platform, external components, interfaces, and systems within this system, such as cameras, radars, lasers, sensors, displays, etc., all have the potential to be upgraded with domestic alternatives thereby promoting the localization of the entire vehicle industry and the automotive ecosystem. Thirdly, the joint venture company plans to open up its equity to attract other automotive companies to participate, aiming to unite everyone to work together for development. As a terminal supplier for this vehicle, you can earn profits from the vehicle, and at the same time, as a shareholder in the joint venture company, you can also benefit from the CNC intelligent driving platform. You have both substance and status. Huawei is indeed a company with technology and vision, but it is unable to plan such a large-scale strategy alone. After all, each automotive company is significant and has its own ideas. Therefore, to have reached this stage, there must be a big player behind Huawei pushing, planning, and integrating. From the perspective of national strategic depth, the focus within the automotive ecosystem is definitely not just on the domestic market. Its larger goal is global. After the establishment of the CNC intelligent driving platform, major automotive companies are like capillaries below, each able to combine their own strengths to produce vehicles at various levels, entering global high, medium, and low-level markets to achieve comprehensive coverage. More importantly, for our intelligent vehicles to go abroad, they will need to be supported by local 5G networks, power systems, charging systems, and so on. This creates a bundled output of vehicles, networks, and electricity, which has strategic significance far beyond the competition between automotive companies. Therefore, from this joint venture event, we can more or less sense the involvement of the nation's big hand. Next, let me decrypt the story behind Huawei joining forces with Chang'an, looking forward to the birth of a Chinese version of Bosch. On November 26, Huawei announced its plan to establish a joint venture company with Chang'an Automobile. According to the agreement, Huawei will inject core technologies such as intelligent driving and smart cockpit, as well as related assets and personnel, into the new company. The detailed business scope of this company will be determined in the final documents. It can be said that the plan is in motion. Huawei's intelligent automotive business unit, referred to as the Vehicle BU, has officially taken off. The goal of this joint venture company is to create an open platform for intelligent electric vehicles, attracting various parties within the automotive industry to innovate and collaborate on this foundation.in terms of business scope. Huawei is injecting its automotive intelligence business into the new company, essentially covering the core capabilities of Huawei's Vehicle BU. The new company's operations include automotive intelligent driving solutions, smart car cabins, intelligent automotive digital platforms, smart car clouds, AR HUD, intelligent car lights, and other related businesses. Additionally, the announcement states that Huawei, in principle, cannot engage in business that competes with the new company's business scope. Automotive-related components and solutions will be provided to complete vehicle customers by the new company. The independent takeoff of the automotive business and the establishment of a joint venture company with the complete vehicle manufacturer is not only a milestone event for Huawei, but also for the entire automotive industry. I in the automotive industry supply chain, 
It is rare to see a joint venture model between complete vehicle manufacturers and component companies, and in terms of equity, complete vehicle companies typically have control over component companies. Within Huawei, this move is seen as a way to help Huawei's automotive business find a locomotive. Under the joint venture company, Huawei's role shifts from being a mere technology supplier to a fusion of demand and supply. The establishment of the new company not only helps Huawei solve its automotive business's financial problems and reduce losses, but also helps expand the scope of cooperation and alleviate the concerns of automotive companies. It is one of the solutions to address the loss of soul in the automotive industry, however. The announcement indicates that Chengen's equity stake will not exceed 40%, and the initial dominant power of the new company will still be in Huawei's hands. For the collaborating automotive companies, there is a fundamental difference between this technology is provided by the Chinese and Huawei joint venture company, and this technology is provided by Huawei. In the future, this joint venture company will also open up its equity to other partners becoming a diversified enterprise in terms of ownership. It can be speculated that Huawei's existing and past partners, including SAIC, Cherry, JAC, BAIC, GAC, and others, are all observing, and it's uncertain when they might announce their participation. In 2019, when Huawei's automotive business unit was established, the company internally prepared for long-term losses. In 2020, Xu Jijun, then rotating chairman of Huawei, revealed that Huawei's annual investment budget in the automotive BU was approximately $500 million, and they were prepared to not consider income and profits in the short term. At that time, Huawei estimated this investment cycle to be around eight years. By the end of 2022, Huawei's R&D team in this sector had expanded to 7,000 people with a cumulative investment of up to $3 billion. According to statements made by Yu Chengdong at the China Automotive Blue Book Forum last year, Huawei spends tens of billions of dollars a year in the automotive business, which is definitely a burning money business. 70% to 80% of the investment is directed towards intelligent driving. On the other hand, Yu Chengdong has publicly stated that the goal of Huawei's vehicle BU is to achieve profitability by 2025, and to help automotive companies sell 1 million vehicles before that. Despite the acceptable order sales volumes of the Wanjia New M7 and Wanjia S7, Huawei's vehicle BU is in an awkward position within Huawei, large initial investment and short-term lack of profitability. Huawei has been seeking a business model suitable for the development of intelligent cars, from components to platform joint ventures, hoping to avoid supply chain blockades while remaining flexible in conducting business without breaking the no car manufacturing. Premise.in August. There were reports from domestic media that Huawei was in close contact with the Chongqing State Owned Asset Supervision and Administration Commission, intending to promote the independent operation of the vehicle BU. Earlier in early 2022, it was reported that Volkswagen Group was planning to acquire Huawei's autonomous driving team, with the specific acquisition price expected to reach several billion euros. According to the reports at the time, Volkswagen and Huawei's top management had engaged in several rounds of negotiations, but it ultimately came to nothing when Huawei transferred the core technology and resources of its vehicle BU to the new company. The valuation of the new company became one of the focal points of external attention. Industry insiders believe that a trillion dollar valuation is quite exaggerated, and a valuation of around a hundred billion dollars would be more reasonable when compared to the business situation of various sectors within Huawei. Now, in its fourth year of establishment, Huawei's intelligent vehicle business has finally taken off independently. Automobiles have always been a long-term strategic focus for Huawei. After spinning off the vehicle BU, Huawei's larger goal remains to be a good supplier. As the overall market competition enters the second half of intelligence, Huawei's competitors in the supplier market are also seeking more diverse ways of cooperation. It is evident that Huawei still has a great deal of room for growth to become for China's Bosch. By establishing a new company and introducing equity from car manufacturers, Huawei has embarked on a fourth path of 
not manufacturing cars, and continues to expand its circle of friends. In the long run, the key lies in how many car manufacturers are willing to join Huawei's automotive ecosystem through joint ventures, the details of equity distribution within the new company, and how Huawei will collaborate with complete vehicle manufacturers. It is understood that apart from Chang'an, Huawei has had close contact with other major car manufacturers such as Jianghuai, Cherry, Saic, BAIC, GAC, and FAW. Among them, Volkswagen from Germany wanted to buy Huawei's related technology for 10 billion US dollars, but Huawei rejected the offer. Huawei stated that 10 billion US dollars could replicate the technology, but it could not be bought out. As a result, the negotiations were unsuccessful, leading to the recent partnership between Huawei and Chang'an. The cooperation between Huawei and Chang'an is a strategic move, a collaboration between two strong entities. Chang'an and future car manufacturers joining this cooperation platform can leverage Huawei's advanced technology to make breakthroughs in the field of AI-powered automobiles. Meanwhile, through this collaboration, Huawei aligns with the national will, empowering and upgrading China's intelligent automobile industry, ushering every vehicle into the future digital intelligent world, and achieving its own commercial pursuits. The deep collaboration between Huawei and Chang'an is not accidental. Huawei's pursuit in the automotive field is not to become an intelligent car manufacturer like BMW, Toyota, or Tesla. Instead, it benchmarks against Bosch, known for its innovative cutting-edge products and system solutions. According to Yu Cheng Dong, China has always believed that it needs to build an electrified and intelligent open platform jointly participated in by the Automotive industry, a platform with a locomotive. Deepening cooperation with Chang'an and more strategic partner car manufacturers, we will continue to explore new models of open and win-win cooperation. Seize the opportunities of the electrification and intelligence transformation of the automotive industry, and realize the dream of the rise of the Chinese automotive industry. In other words, Huawei aims to achieve success inside the industry rather than incomplete vehicle manufacturing. Huawei's success is not accidental, but stems from a profound understanding of the essence of each business. China believes that with deepening cooperation, it will drive the establishment of industry standards and technological advancements in the entire intelligent automobile sector, thereby propelling the development of China's intelligent automobile industry. We collectively anticipate the birth of the Chinese version of Bosch. Bosch.